welcome back to another video. First match in the next month, in the new month, really. Yeah. January, not January. It's our, uh, every month, everything every year in January, we do like an Ice Age splash, just for the fact that we're Tudra wolves and we live in a Ice Great White Norse place and, and uh, Ice Ages, I call it. It all makes it, it's flavorful, believe us, it's flavorful. Yeah. A new anyway. year, a new format. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so and let's see, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Bubble Sly. Yeah. No. So the name Sly is just like a term that was created by a guy uh, who made a mono red deck with very creature heavy mono red burn deck. So mm -hmm. that's where that comes from. And the Bobble is, well, it's our Ice Age card. We have Incinerate too from Ice Age, but yeah. the Bobble is an interesting inclusion. Uh, you can be of the mindset that this creates a 56 card deck since it replaces itself for free. Now, of course, yes. you only get to draw on the following turn, so it's not as powerful as. Taxian Probe, a modern card that literally gives you the card right away for quote unquote free. But the point being, right, like it yeah. replaces itself, gives you information, and it costs zero. So like, amazing card. And if you play pre-modern, if you know if you know pre-modern, then you know this card exists in that deck. Yeah. It has other applications in that format. We won't get into it, but uh, it's still, I think it's definitely worthy of being in here. Yeah, and it's especially powerful. Like I play Alice, and that card in that format is already powerful. So I can imagine yeah, 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 other yeah, formats yeah. that are even quicker. Yeah. Especially burn that it's, empties its hand very fast. Yes. This gives you, you know, yeah, exactly. Gives you the cards back. Uh, uh, basically, the incinerate and die versus okay. Bokeh. Um, I mean, the goblin grenades are just fantastic. Just like, yeah. you know. Even though there's only seven goblins, I, I personally would have cut one of these grenades. I think two might be too much for only seven goblins. But I have learned playing the card goblin grenade in old school that there is no reason to try to get max damage out of your creature. If you draw that grenade, just sacrifice your goblin, mm -hmm. get it out of there, yeah. get, get the five damage. Five damage for one is incredible. Now it's two cards, it's not just for one, but. Uh, yeah, exactly. We're, but... Again, running out of time here again. I don't understand why these deck texts are, they seem shorter than in the past. But I just want to say very fast the most important card in this deck, according to me, in my opinion, is the Iron Flowers. Yeah. Uh, they were a Pro Tour, they had a Pro Tour appearance uh, in like 97, I think. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, they are on curve, they are a constant threat of damage, and the opponent will remove them, which is a good sign that they belong in the deck. Yeah. Going one drop into Orc into three drop or one drop into Orc into burn is really strong. If you can get two swings out of that card, four damage for two is incredible. The only other card that's four damage for two is a Flame Rift, which also deals four damage to yourself. So if you can get four damage out of that card, amazing. amazing. So yes. completely overlooked card in my opinion and yeah. belongs in the burn decks. But now we have the Black and Burn. Yeah. Now we were talking a little earlier, we feel that Necro Opponents was a missed opportunity in this deck. Yeah, I think so. Although it's like just a great deck, you know, with the Knight of Stormgold uh, from the Ice Age. But hold on, just to say really quickly, it's like, um, because this is not the first time we do the Ice Age monthly, I'm pretty sure the first year Khalil, uh, Khalil and I put together a Necro Twiddle Bolt deck. Okay. And like, it just annihilated everybody like it just destroyed everybody isn't that the one where carl uh played dark ritual necro for and then played necropotence in the necro for yeah 15. yeah and he yeah. wasn't the only one doing it it's just the point yeah. being that after that first year people realized that necro was going to be all over the place it took them you know you know this is his, this is just history repeating itself yes. and then burn just <laughs> became more and more prevalent so like a reason to not play Necro, even though it belongs in the deck, quote unquote, oh, is yes. that your opponents are playing Burn and you get punished. Or at right? least in the sideboard, I think would have been a nice. Uh, yeah, that's true. Versus it's like a meek stone, but yeah. Going into this deck, I mean, it's just great having the extra incinerate for incinerate, Burn. Yeah. Uh, Bloodlust just very you know, aggressive though. Very aggressive. I think, yes. I think Bloodlust is actually possibly more aggressive than the Goblin Grenades. Like they uh, both require the creature, but like I don't know. Like it's reoccurring because is it uh, no, it's an, it's nonsense? Instant, yeah. Instant. Okay, I thought it was an enchant creature, but yes, like, still great though. I mean, yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. It, and still dealing four damage to. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's not identical because the historical deck didn't have Moxen and stuff. It was like a standard deck, I'm pretty sure. But uh, this is kind of like there was a black red hippie knight, not hippie, mm -hmm. black red knights and uh, dark ritual burn deck. But it played Necro. Yeah. Back then. I think it was even uh, Randy Bueller. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's I'm surprised there's Ritual. not like a uh, X spell for Burn with the Dark Rituals in the main deck, or unless I'm missing it somewhere. But... Yeah, but it looks like he's really prioritizing the Dark Rituals towards his Black Creatures, though. Yeah. But I mean, 
I feel like that's such like a great chance, chance to play an expo you know, when you're sure. playing a dark ritual yeah, because yeah, yeah. you can play at least one, at least one, at least one. You yeah. know, I feel. Anyways, I felt like to at least justify yeah. the dark ritual a little bit more. I just want to get this out of the way really quickly. I am going to be very biasedly favored towards Max's deck. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I was the one that introduced the concept of the Iron Claw Orcs and also worked with him. Like, he built the deck, but I worked with him on it. So, like, I want to see him win, you know? Like, I'm, 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 yeah. here, I'm here for the burn deck right now. I'm here to see Iron Claw Orcs smash faces, and I'm here to see Max win. So, well, Max, I'm here with you. Everybody else, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not here favoring someone, yeah, so yeah. I'm here just to... You're the, the neutral party. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we got a turn one Black Vice, which is exactly what the burn deck wants to see, right, in terms of either having a creature or a bolt right away. Yeah. But that bolt is permanent. It, wait a minute, he went second though, so okay, Black Vice is slightly, slightly worse, worse, but Hammerheim. Fine. Such a, 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 I love the art of that card, it's such a great card. With the, the, the Hammerheim. The, oh, Hammerheim, yeah, yeah sure, so, sure. Yeah. Who's the artist? Is it Tom? Uh, or is it Brian? Fan. I think it's Brian. I want to check that out. I think it is Brian. And Goblin Balloon Brigade. Yeah, Brian. Uh, just like Gift, the, fucking, yeah. the the evasive on that card, the evasion <laughs> on that card. Oof, that's, that that's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Amazing, but uh, the evasion on that card can turn it into a serious lightning bolt threat, right? Like same yeah. concept. If this thing attacks and just gets in two or three times, like that ship damage is extremely relevant. It's kind of like the flyman for blue, like counterbird yeah, decks. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. the flyman, yeah. just chipping away for one. But I would say even more relevant here because your whole deck is burned, right? So yeah. each point of damage is so good to just getting them to that mm -hmm. sweet spot where they just die to something. Yeah. So and yeah, chain... see, like chain lightning on the face instead of the brigade could be costly because like you might undervalue that one damage but because i'd be concerned because it's like my if he has a goblin brigade he might be playing the yeah the, the, the grenade the, the, you know yeah you say yeah goblin brigade could brigade be grenade. Goblin grenade yes yeah. say that's fast five times yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i see like i it yeah. might have felt bad but i think i would have chained the uh... yeah i think that was the incorrect move to uh chain the opponent versus the creature yeah because now he's just uh but yeah you do have to use your chains fast because your mono red versus mono mono red oh, see okay good see, I, again i'm not this is not me trying to say that i told max this but we certainly talked about it so like you should grin and that's what he did he got a damage in just grenade he probably realized he got lucky that the chain lightning didn't hit the goblin yeah and he was like okay hey, i got my damage in here's five more boom so you yeah. got six damage off of two mana that's two lightning bolts that's exactly where you want to be and now he's got to play cards because now there's uh, the black vice, black vice yeah. so yeah. now he's like Eesh. he's in a bit of a pickle here so i think yeah. max is probably gonna take this first game so there's even an argument too right like for max now that he's got the black vice don't play any more creatures don't give your opponent a, ch a reason to use more resources on your stuff. Yeah. Keep cards in their hand. And yeah. Max just, yeah. Max just annihilating, yeah. So, as you can see, Iron Claw Orcs was the best card. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. But no, but really, what? so there was two concepts I mentioned in the deck deck, right? It was one, Iron Claw Orcs being extremely important to the curve, and two, grenading right away. And uh, I'm actually going to create a game within a game for those people watching. Take a shot every time Mark says Iron Claw Orcs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or every time I get too excited. Go watch every other video we've ever uploaded and look how much more excited I'm getting right now. I think the only time I ever see you get this excited for a card is like when you're talking about Twiddle. Well, <laughs> exactly. I haven't mentioned that all. Actually, I, I, I know there's someone, some person watching. Son of a mm, yeah. again with this. Uh, where's the mute button? This <laughs> is someone watch the game. Who are these guys commenting? These two Italians. Yeah, so sideboarding is going to be a little tricky. Because you're playing like almost, not a mirror match, but it's pretty damn close to it. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, but now the game would still be going on, I think, right? If that chain lightning hit the hit the balloon. Maybe. At least for one or two more turns. So it might have cost them the game. It's possible. It's, but I mean, Max just had a. Also, he had yeah, like he a, had a killer hand, yeah. You know, full hand of burn spells, so it's like. You know, go punch sand, kid. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a lotus into chain light, ball lightning if you yeah. want. Take six, please. Don't but if now, I do. dark ritual means you can play creatures, probably. But you can still trample. Oh, that's true. 
And it will kill all the creatures, right? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about Ritual Order. I think I would yeah. use my turn one to bolt or something. I think he has a chain lightning. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe he just wanted to take that chance with the with the goblin again. So he's like, oh, I'll keep it for the goblin so yeah. I don't get the grenade. That's that's a bit of PTSD though. Like until, yeah. you, until you see the goblin, I don't know if you need to necessarily do that. But so now he's like, oh, re re rewarded. Yeah, get that ball lightning. Kaboom. Start the game at fourteen. As a, don't mind if I do. But I mean, considering the time that we're at and the length of the video, I'm, I wonder if it actually just uh, if uh, if Bruno's able to crawl back in this game and we go to three. I'd be very interested to see how it goes on here. Because that that start implies like really, it's really good. It's really yeah, but start. like burn Dax, man. It's like especially if it's like a mirror, it just like suddenly curve like you know. Oh, no respect for the goblin. He does have the chain lightning, but he's not using it. So. Hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure I just saw him hand gesture to go to, to, to pass the turn, but maybe not. Yeah, there, yeah, okay, there, there it is. is. Yeah. So. See, like, here's the question, right? Your opponent didn't do anything. Do you, if you have a grenade, do you just grenade or do you attack and hope that the guy doesn't respond with a bolt, you know? Yeah. It's just... Okay, so he's going to take the damage. It's gonna chain the creature. See now this is a bit different. I think chaining the face for Max is the better decision. Hmm. So he's going to Is he bloodlusting it? So that it no, I think he's uh because chain lightning, if you pay two reds, oh yeah. You could yeah. do three damage, so no, he could do three damage to the grenade or to Max. So what happened? Uh, Looks like he tapped the mana, but nothing happened. Interesting. Yeah, I think Max should have uh, either not chained. He probably just didn't realize the red mana, which is fine. I wasn't even thinking about it myself. But I think you have to chain for to the... Like, after Lightning Bolt, after uh, Ball Lightning, your opponent, I think your Bird Spell should go to the dome. Mm -hmm. Like, you're out, you're ahead, and sure, he can pump, but that means he's doing nothing else. Or at least only doing one thing else. Uh, then again, though, then again, then again, Max has the factory in play, so clearing the yeah. creature off the board means the dam like more, means more of his damage goes through. In theory, in theory, in theory. I mean, he's got the black vice, so now he's gonna be taking like one or two damage per turn, yeah. unless he's able to dump his cards a little quicker. Well, there you go. So, I think I would have used that ritual to play the Nevin Nero's disc. Yeah, because yeah, because like. Um... I mean, if he just draws the extra swamp, it's going to feel a little bit bad if he uh, wasted the Dark Ritual on the Knight instead of getting the disc in play, which has to untap, so you need the extra turn. Yeah. So in theory, true. the earlier you play that, the better kind of thing. Yeah. I agree there. Uh, I think probably the yeah. disc. Uh... Hmm. I think this is an okay attack with both characters, yeah, creatures, because, uh, well, Bolt is a thing. So maybe, yeah, maybe your versus your burn opponent don't attack with your chain your don't attack with your yeah, factory, don't attack factory yeah. especially when you have uh unless he's tapped out there or something but okay yeah bobble looks at the, the card in his hand and vice is a dead card Ooh, so actually yeah bruno might, might actually turn us around because the other card i'm pretty sure is icy manipulator oh is that another ritual mm. no it's not icy manipulator it's the disc we're just talking disc, yeah. we're just talking about it <laughs> we're just talking about it don't do drugs, kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, do you you don't chain the... I mean, every turn that you don't kill the goblin is like the scare that there could be a grenade coming, right? But, yeah. But I think we saw that. I mean, you can deduce from the last game that he's willing to grenade right away. So, if he hasn't done it yet, he doesn't have it in his hands, so you're playing against the top of his deck, basically. Yeah, you're just waiting if he's going to top deck it or not. And... Okay, so Max is counting his life off screen on his phone. Chain lightning the face instead of the disc again. But I guess that is. Oh, the disc he needs four. Well, he because he's got dark ritual. Oh, okay. but I guess it's irrelevant, right? Because like it. Yeah. The vice is. Yeah, dead. there's really. Yeah. yeah, vice is dead in the one one. In theory, you just give your knight first strike and you kill the one one. Oh, did he draw two cards? Did Max draw two, or because he's supposed to draw from the bobble? Did he draw? I think so. Yes. On some the next upkeep. Yeah. 
think Max saw one or one land too many this game. One land too many. What's in his hand? Oh, he had a grenade. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what's our what's our delay here? Okay, down to five. So that means okay, the attack plus the five was the six that he needed to bring yeah. to five. Now this is like what uh, a, a top deck uh, ball lightning. Top deck ball lightning. <laughs> oh, Bruno, Bruno, a little bit frustrated over there. But that's what I mean. Like, if he just gets that disc in play, the ball lightning can't kill him anymore, right? Because yeah. he untapped it. Yeah, I feel he should have played the disc. You know your opponent's playing ball lightning. You just have that added protection. Yeah. Because you can't afford to have that, you know, ball to be left down. open like that because yeah. the ball lightning has trample. So even. Well, I mean, okay, give it for a strike, I get it, but... But, I mean, Max might just lose because uh, he's, like I said, he drew, I think he drew one too many lands, and then he, and then he kept drawing lands, so, like, uh, it's rough. Yeah, I see, that's really, really rough. So, like, that's basically, like, how red decks will lose. Yeah. Like, you you, do, you don't want to keep a hand with more than two mountains, and you don't want to draw more than, like, three. I mean, unless he draws a wheel and, like, draws into two, uh... Okay, so he do, he does... He bolts not the face because Max was at two. So all right, we got a, okay. we, we got ourselves a game three, which uh, as much as I want Max to win, it's okay. Game three is right, exciting. It's right, it's game right. three are exciting. Bruno, Bruno, no offense, Bruno. This is not about you. At all. <laughs> this is purely about my ego. You guys, yeah. <laughs> you know, no, no, I get it. No, but it's like a deck that you create or helped create. You wanted to do well. I yeah. get that. But no, that was still a, that was still a really good game. Uh, it went back and like burn mirrors that go back like that and forth. They're, they're good. Obviously, I'm sure Max disagrees with me just because he drew too many lands. Mm, but yeah. but still, from a from a spectator's perspective, going to game three is always uh, there. I, I, I wish he would have played that disc though, uh, Bruno. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, so it didn't end up punishing him, but he left himself open to a punish. Right? Yeah, that was the thing. I mean, he had the mana. And he drew the other dark ritual after yeah. anyway, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now Max is on the play again, which I'm sure he's feeling good about. So that first game was ultra fast. Yeah. Yeah, when you win a game in under like five minutes, it's uh it's either you had a good time or you're just like swearing. Yeah. Which is gonna be interesting for when we get to our fourth match of this monthly. Yeah. Mountain walk. Which is actually relevant in this matchup, hilarious. Right, like yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's okay. A little bit of a oopsie there. Ooh, ball lightning. That's the ball lightning he needed last game. Yeah. Hmm. How much was Bruno at when the game ended? Five, eh? Oh. Uh, now you can't really say this because, like, had the chain lightning that killed the Ebon Hand gone to the face instead, then the bolt at the end, which he used on the knight, could have just gone to the face to win, but then. Max was at two life, so if he kept the knight alive, that two extra down, you know, so he can't yeah. really do that. But it's interesting to think that, like, yeah. that extra bolt would have, you know, in a perfect world, won him the game. What just happened? Okay, Mox plus, oh, nice. That's so, that must feel so nice when you have the Mox. Like, the one of Mox that yeah, also casts your ball lightning. Jeez. It's fantastic Jeez. feeling. Did he, did he ball lightning game one, too? No way. Yeah. Just, game one? He ball lightning game one? Yeah, the lowest. That was game two. That was, oh, last, was, game that, that was last game. That was last game. Because he put him to 14 right away. That was, was game, game two. one. Yeah, that was, that was game two. Game was one. 100%. Game, two. game one. If, oh, it was, if, it, if it was game one, then you can come talk to me when you're at 71. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty well, sure we'll, I'm, like, I'm a thousand percent sure it was We'll, we'll, it was we'll game review two. after. Yeah, yeah. And I'll have bragging rights. <laughs> You'll know, uh, you guys will know in the next video. If no one's talking about this, I was right. And if we're talking about it, <laughs> well, yeah. Anthony was right. Yeah, you'll hear in the next uh, opening. And welcome back, yeah, because I'm right. <laughs> welcome back to me being right. I mean, to a new video. All right, all right, all right. Uh, where are we? So, 
Okay. Now okay. We're, now we're, we're he's not taking anything. Yeah. He's now now he's respecting it. <laughs> he's like, I've had enough of these. Oh, he's willing to attack into the factory. No, hmm. let's let's yeah. Max is being nice and just showing him, hey, I've got my own. Okay, Bruno's going for it anyways. Was that factory just played, so he can't pump? Unless he's using it to play a card. Was that, like, yeah. Was that factory from Max just played and thus can't pump? Is Maybe that, uh, I, I missed it. I was uh, uh, trying to be right over here. I yeah, I know. You keep talking about ball lightning. So two damage. See, like Bruno tagging for two seems not good because if they're just going to trade two damage, Bruno has less health, right? Yeah, so, exactly. He's not winning this. Uh, let's see. What do we got in our hand? Okay, Bruno. Uh, Max probably feeling not so great if he can't cast that last card, thinking, shit, am I going to lose this game because of the same thing as game two? Looks like Bruno has a wheel of fortune. Okay, we have seen in previous videos that Bruno, from a position of winning, <laughs> has a wheel of fortune. So he might provide that to Max. You know? Yeah, but it's, it's really tricky giving another mono red player <laughs> seven new cards. Yeah. Oh, he's willing to go in. Oh, okay, okay, good. He thought twice about it. Chain Lightning, which can't be copied. No, because he doesn't have two red mana sources. So, I mean, it's really a sucks that we couldn't see any Iron Claw in this game. It's okay. Take a shot. <laughs> no, right, said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing a good job of getting our viewers drunk, though. So I'll just be like, Iron Claw Arcs, Iron Claw Arcs. No, all the viewers are broke from buying magic cards. Yeah, so you can't, can't afford the Blabat 50. It's like that meme. You want your kids to not do drugs? Yeah. Just introduce them to Magic the Gathering. Dolls never have money for drugs ever. I wonder what I really want to know what's in Max's hand. Yeah. Oh, it's another mountain. Shit. Yeah, it's you'll never have money. What Liliana the Veil? Oh, foil full art. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Oh, but he can do something in response. So it's only five now. But Seven still, rates. I mean, that one damage is still one damage, but into four, right? So. It's not, Every it's not a damage thing. counts. That's one more right damage in a bolt, right? One more damage in an incinerate or a chain lightning. Like if. Uh... See, that's what I mean by Bloodless being slightly worse than Goblin Grenade is because, like, not only do you both need a creature, you need a creature for both cards, but Bloodless requires combat. Goblin Grenade just requires the creature. Right? Yeah. So you can do the five right away, and there's no. Uh... And also, it's an additional cost, so you can't respond to the grenade to kill the goblin. Bloodlust, you can kill the creature and respond. Yes, that is true. Disc. Playing the disc. Just okay. to get cards out of his hand, for sure makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went up to six this turn. Land plus disc is down to four, so he's safe. Yeah. Now, Bruno top decks a Wheel of Fortune. Be like, oh, now he plays the. Dex. Wait, did I say Bruno? I meant Max. Max, Max, yeah, Max. Oh, that's true. He gets two damage because he tapped out. <gasps> uh, and what is he doing? Wheel. Yeah. yeah there I, we did go. I not literally just say if he talked? Like <laughs> yeah. Because now he's going to lose to. Uh, Unless even, even if he, well, even if he plays two cards off of the two mountains, he still has five cards in hand. Yeah. Uh, so he'll lose just one then. Okay. But I mean, just Max one. has to find a fucking chain lightning or a ball or fire lightning bolt or something. Did he not? Oh, he attacked before he wheeled. He just drew Mox. He just drew Black Lotus and ball lightning. He wheeled before he attacked. Uh, I mean, he attacked before he wheeled. Well, I mean, he'll win next turn. Yeah, but case. I mean, you know, come on, come on, Max, come on. <laughs> Especially when your opponent's tapped out. Interesting. Yes. Yes. He will. He will get less damage if he has cards. Says even if destroy, he will suffer the damage. He won't suffer the damage because it check it checks on it checks on uh, trigger and it checks on resolution. So on resolution you have five cards, or whatever how many cards you have, so you'll take less damage. Yeah. But chain lightning isn't good enough. Uh, I mean, he could like in theory. How much does bloodless cost? I think it's one in a red. 
Okay, so neither way. He can only play two cards then. Yeah. Might so I was so. going to say, he could, like, you know, activate the... An he can animate the factory with his own... With, with itself. Then Bloodlust the factory. And then use a Lightning Bolt, but that's still only two cards. Oh, I mean, but... Oh, but... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, he's on the disc, so he can blow up the... Yeah. Oh. So what happened? Probably just figured... He's got the factory, he's got this, he's got that. It's hard to, like, really, uh... Saying this, they're saying despite the fact that he had the chance to break the device, he still thinks he lost? As Maybe. opposed to they just misunderstood Maybe the they, they were talking, so do you have this, that? He's like, I have that. I was like, alright, never mind. Because, so, like, Max didn't have the direct damage. He would have had to go into go, combat. Yeah. Right, like, that wheel before the attack... Ah, uh, sorry. The wheel after the attack could have actually been a game losing blunder. Like, it's... It's a little bit rough, I don't know. Yeah, so if, I, if I know my opponent's tapped out, I'm playing the wheel first before attacking. I mean, I think, especially if I know yeah, if I have a ball lightning. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, playing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you probably figured he was gonna definitely draw a bolt, but that's not how magic works, right? Yeah. Like if you if we're talking about well, no, no, that's that's the opposite. Never mind. But yeah, just to say, uh, it's okay. Uh, I hope I just hope that there was not a concession here because they thought he would take the damage. He would take the damage. If, it, if he uses disc, he takes yeah. the damage. Because the trigger's on the stack. So disc, the, tr the vice is gone, but the damage, the trigger is still on the stack. So yes, he would still take the damage. So disc is not good enough. It has to be, I have cards in my hand to, to use. Yeah, Destroying the vice does not remove the trigger off the stack. So yes, okay. So good, good, yes. good, 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 good. Took us so, too long to Yeah, I don't know why I missed it, but... Oh, I was just... Uh, what worm is that in the background? Crawl worm, I think. Hmm. So. Anyways. Alright, well, thanks for watching, everyone. That was a great one. Yeah. See you in the next one.